Energy and resource efficiency are crucial elements of the corporate philosophy of Pfeiffer Vacuum. To make its production processes as sustainable as possible, the so-called Green Lab Fab concept was implemented as a pilot project in the production facility in Annecy, France. It includes comprehensive measures to increase efficiency and resource conservation in the manufacturing processes all over the production cycle. A crucial component of the Green Lab Fab is the flexible manufacturing system. It is used for the machining of even large parts before their assembly. There is a strict cutting fluid control in this unit. All manufacturing data, such as machine and tool reliability, are continuously monitored. All parts are automatically transported from the loading station to the milling center unit. The cutting fluid needed for this machining process is provided sustainably. It is pumped to and back from the machine in long pipes that begin and end in a comprehensive filtration unit. Here, chips and cutting fluids are filtered and recycled without any environmental impact. This leads to a significant reduction in oil and water consumption. The recycling process in the filtration unit consists of different steps. First step. The contaminated fluids are inserted into the unit through the cutting fluid inlet on top of the machine. Second step. The first filtering step is the extraction of cast iron from the fluids. Third step. Now, aluminum is extracted from the liquids in the second floor of the filtration unit. Fourth step. The next step is the cyclonic filtering of the production liquids. It extracts all consumables. Fifth step. In the down back end of the unit, the final filtering process is conducted. Here, all paper is diminished from the liquids. Sixth step. The filtered and recycled liquid is transferred back to the production facility by an elaborate pumping system. It disposes of integrated inverters which adjust the power supply of the system to the energy required by the flow that is needed to pump the liquids back to the particular stations. Seventh step. The recycled and filtered chips are collected in a catching system outside the facility. With this elaborate system, cutting fluid is permanently filtered on a very high quality level. Furthermore, its temperature is stabilized. This leads to stable machining processes and assures the accuracy of the parts. After the filtration process has been completed, the recycled cutting fluid is pumped back into the different milling centers of the factory. The cutting operations are made by a four-axis milling center with automatic tools changer. Performant tools are used to assure machining accuracy. After machining, the fixture with the finished parts is automatically unloaded by a crane. The operator takes the part off with a handling device. The part is then transferred to a metrology workshop by a standalone pallet loading system. Here, the part is inspected by the aid of 3D and profile measurement. All measured data are automatically sent to the milling center. This innovative profile measurement process enormously improves the productivity of the workshop and its flexibility. After the 3D measurement, the parts are transported to an industrial cleaning unit. This machine is solvent-free and uses recycled water for the rinsing and cleaning of parts prior to assembly. It works with extremely low energy consumption and a low demand for detergent. The cleaning capacity is two times higher as with former concepts. The cleanliness of the finished parts can be improved and monitored. After being cleaned, the parts are transported from the industrial cleaning unit to the station. Here, the pumps are mounted and the parts installed. After installation, the pumps are transported into a quality test hall. Here, their functionality and performance is validated at different testing units in order to secure their high quality standards. 
After the pumps have been cleaned and assembled, they are transported to a robot paint line which automatically dries, paints and conveys the pumps. Inside the unit, the pump runs through different steps. 1. The pumps are loaded onto the paint line. 2. The pump type is scanned and the needed robot program selected. 3. The pump is then transferred to the painting chamber. 4. The painting process is conducted by a robot. 5. The pump is dried. 6. The painted pump is unloaded again. The automated paint line uses only solvent-free paint, has a low need for energy, and produces very little waste. With the Green Lab Fab concept, Pfeiffer Vacuum contributes to the efficient management of operations at the customer side and is able to realize significant savings with regard to energy consumption, waste management, and the use of limited resources within the company's own production.